ladies and gentlemen, we are now set for the main event of the evening. Scheduled for five two-minute rounds in the bare knuckle Walter Weight Division. Presented by Dave and Busters, the only place to eat, drink, play, and watch sports under one roof. Sanctioned by the Mississippi State Athletic Commission, Chairman John Lewis. Our three judges scoring our main event, Brad Patrick, Alvin Topham, Wayne Spinola. And the third man in the ring, our referee in charge of the action at the bell, Big Dan Mergliata. And now, from the Mississippi Coast Coliseum, we have one final question for you. What time is it? Fight fans, what time is it? Alexi, it's time to knock off. It is to you first, fighting out of the red corner. Tonight, he wears black and yellow. His official weight, 145.6 pounds. His MMA record stands at 33 professional fights. Here is the UFC veteran from Dublin, Ireland, Artem the Russian Hammer, Lolo. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. Tonight he wears gray trimmed in black and red. His official weight, 145.9 pounds. He holds an MMA record of 26 professional fights. Here is the UFC veteran from Loosedale, Mississippi, by way of the Iberville, Mississippi, Jason the Kid. No! Gentlemen, our referee in charge, Big Dan Bergliotta. Both fighters up to scratch. They are set for our main event. Round number one. Great trunks for Jason Knight, black trunks for Artem Lobov. And immediately Lobov clowning with his hands down. Now puts his hands up. Oh! And down goes Lobov, and ruled a knockdown by Dan Mergliata, despite the protestations of Lobov. Check left hook again, landed right on the chin. <laughs> Lobov after the knockdown, immediately running to the center of the squared circle. They say, he say they underestimated the wrong guy. He's here to win tonight. Right, snapping out the jab, the right hand, the follow, eats the right hand from Lobov on the counter. Lobov to the body, good in fighting. And trying to throw that rear right uppercut. Overhand right. Knight, as you can see, Champ trying to work to the inside. Good left hand on the inside on the entry from Knight. Oh, counter by Lobov. With the right hand. He's opened up a cut, and that eye looked bad on the left side. Bad cut. Eye of Knight. Lobov down. Ruled a slip by Dan Mergliata. But was it? Right hand just off the mark. Big shots, and now that's a slip uh, on Jason Knight. Jason Rather, Knight is... ruled a knockdown. Look like he's spitting out teeth. Ruled a knockdown by Mergliata. One knockdown apiece here in a ferocious round number one. 25 seconds remaining round one. Both men swinging big and landing big. Left oh. hand. Lobov lands Knight down, and that's ruled a slip. Knight right back to his feet. A Bad bloody cut mess. under the left eye of Jason Knight. Again. Flipping right hand. Ruled a slip once more. Left hand from Lobov. The bell. Wow. The end of an outstanding <laughs> round number one. We won that round. We won. Hey, look, look, we got it.
Durant going to work on nice left eye. You see that nasty cut under the left eye. I thought Jason Knight was doing a great, great job, but everything Lobov hit him with, everything he hit him with hurt him and cut him open. Here we have it. Okay, those are punches landed by Knight, and that was a clean knockdown. It was definitely caused by a punch. Ruled as such by Dan Bergliotta from the left hand. And that was the second knockdown, straight on the... Straight on the chin with the left hand. He called that one a knockdown. But it was Lobov that, uh, that did all the damage in the first round. Both fighters officially knocked down once in round number one. Uh-oh. Big fight in the crowd. Big fight in the crowd. Oh, my. And that's why the crowd is looking away. We're looking at the squared circle, round number two. I always choose to watch the professionals fight. <laughs> As it starts around two for Lobov, slow forward stalking pressure. Big left hand from Lobov and Knight walks through it. Oh, he didn't walk through that one. And that is ruled a knockdown by Mergliata. You see Knight looking at his corner. Go forward. You ready? Let's go. Second time that Knight has been knocked down in this bout. I don't know what Lobov has in his hands, but every time he lands, Lobov Knight is going down. 115 remaining round two. Knight coming forward with the jab. Just misses with the uppercut. Lobov to the inside, circling out. Hands high from Lobov. Knight trying to snatch the half plum. Big swing and a miss from Lobov. Put himself back on line. Knight needs to start using his reach. Uppercut from Matt. Good left hand from Jason Knight. Lobov trying to fire back on the counter. With the inside, the clinch. Right, Both keep fighters keep down. Pulled a double slip. Knight opened up a cut on low ball. Get Knight looking to his corner. Lobov from the southpaw stance moving forward. You can see the determination on Knight's face. Even if he, even if while he's bleeding and being cut up, he's still determined. We thought this would be something special. This is definitely something special in the BKFC squared circle. Jason Knight versus Artem Lobov. Five seconds. The chant of Jason from this very pro Jason Knight Mississippi crowd. Jason putting on a show. That is the end of round two. Both fighters down once in round one, Knight down once in round two. That was that little overhand left. He didn't see it coming, and it hurt him. Both fighters exchanging beautifully here. Man, what a big flurry. Blood from both guys. <laughs> Very heated fight. This is what the main event should be all about. Okay, seconds out. Go, let's go, baby. Hold him up. Hold him up. Fighters up to scratch. Ready? Knuckle up. It's around three we go from the call of knuckle up by Dan Mergliata. Forward pressure again from Artem Lobov. Very, very fast paced two rounds. Let's see, can they keep it up? You see Knight trying to work off of the jab. And the chant of USA now in support of Jason Knight. Yes, I think his corner told him, use your advantages. The high, ooh, overhand left by Lobov. And the flush on the inside. Uppercut. Lobov stepping in every time with a power punch champ. Yeah, he's looking to change it and close it and end, this, end the show with a big punch. He's looking to close it. Going to miss on the right hand by Knight. Resets his feet. Lobov snapping the jab from the southpaw stance. Nothing on the right hand from Knight to the body. 
Good left hand from Lobar. Lobar keeping his hands high but open. Eats a right hand. Well done from Knight. Great counter right. 50 seconds remaining, round three of our main event. Overhand right from Loboff, misses. And trying to go to the body. A lot of great action in this fight by both guys. Ooh! Am I seeing T fall from the sky's crazy? It's possible it's the Vaseline <laughs> shooting off. It might be T. <laughs> Tight going back hard against the corner cushion. Loboff coming to the inside. Certainly the best punches from both fighters have been landed on the inside. That's where Lobop is going, lands the right, then exits. Talking, hand again. talking about a tough, tough man. Look at Jason Knight. His face hasn't changed. Even though he's eating punches, he's still yep. focused. Uh -oh. And that's ruled a knockdown Four, by Murgliata. The third time Knight six, has been down in this fight. Seven, he cannot be saved by the bell in any round under the BKFC rule set. And that is the end of round three. I didn't see that punch, Sean, but his equilibrium was gone. I know it landed. <laughs> and under the BKFC rule set, the three state of Mississippi assigned judges scoring on the 10-point bus system. He got renounced. Cut man Stitch Duran in this corner. If anybody can save him from a cut, it's Stitch Duran. Example C, is this Vaseline or is this teeth? It might be Vaseline, but it looked like a little bit of both then. <laughs> yeah, they working that cut heavily over in the, in the corner. That probably more than likely what it, what it is. But look at that, equilibrium gone in that. Somewhere probably in Hawaii, Taylor Tooley is looking and cringing. Up. I had to drop a UFC one reference in somewhere the day after Art Davies' birthday. To round four we go. It's been outstanding thus far. Again, Loboff knocked down around number one. And it has since knocked down Knight three times. One each in rounds one, two, and three. Knight seems like his little damage is starting to pay off now. You see Loboff getting swelling on the uh, right side as well as blood on his face. It's a nasty mouse under the left eye of Jason Knight. Flipping right. Both of these. And coming forward, big uppercut. Threw a right uppercut to the body, then the lead left uppercut to the chin of Knight. Knight is switching stances now. Sapo ooh! Huge overhand right from Lobov. In the left hand. Lobov landing big on the inside. Is now popped under the right eye of Artem Lobov. Massive blood smear all over Lobov's right knuckles. Lobov starting to swell too. 45 seconds remaining round number four. I'm just impressed with Knight focus, man. As much punishment as he's taken, he's still focused in there on winning this fight. If you do not like this main event, Bare Knuckle is not the combat <laughs> sport for you because this has been outstanding. Oh, right up and there he comes. Here's right hand in the counter, right, right back. Oh, oh. Look at Knight. The separation from Mergliata. And right back to it. Lobov probably thinking, what's keeping this guy up? How is his left hand? How is he still here? Right hand from Knight. There's another right hand just before the bell to end round number four. Wow. Outstanding <laughs> through the opening <laughs> four rounds. Everybody in here, Everybody. 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 Everybody.
This is what happens when you underestimate a guy and a guy has something to prove. This is what Knight is fighting for right now in this, in this city of Mississippi, state of Mississippi, where he has all the support. It's keeping him up right now. He still believes he can win this fight. You be rushing. Be rushing. Do not get away, baby. Heading to the fifth and final rounds of our main event, the welterweight division. Two highly accomplished UFC veterans making their BKFC debut. This is for you guys you right here. You're here, right? Absolute delight right, let's of do it again. Let's Mississippi round. crowd. Moment of respect between line, these two fighters. There I say the first ever. And to the fifth and final round we go. Right hand just misses from Knight. There's been so much animosity, bordering on hatred. They have absolutely thrown down thus far. But when you get in the ring and you lay it all on the line, there's mutual respect for each other. And I think both of these fighters have gained it tonight. Without question, and how could there not be? Both fighters showing tremendous heart, tenacity, and character, as well as tremendous skill. Nothing decided yet. 80 seconds remaining in this fight. And right one, uppercut, chest miss from Knight. One punch can end it, especially when you're this fatigued. Counter left hand from Loboff on the inside. Knight pushing forward. Good stiff left jab from Jason Knight. Loboff trying to snatch the half club. Uppercuts now on the inside from Jason Knight. That draws a separation and a break from Dan Mergriotta. 50 seconds to go to the closing bell. Robot down. The crowd reacting as though it's a knockdown, and that's ruled a slip by Mergliata. It's look, it looks like Lavov is out right now, condition-wise. Let's see, can Knight put, put pressure on him here? Lobov's hands you see below his waistline. Uppercut from Jason Knight, another one. Big shot with the right, Lobov with the left hand. Back and forth we go. Oh! Stepping clip right from Knight. Oh! Back into the right hand, the left, the right. He Here's still got time. He still has time. Ten seconds left. Another right hand. Another right hand on the step in from Knight. The turn from Lobov. Wow! The bell at the end of an absolutely phenomenal fight. Welcome to BKF. Look at this action for round five. Waiting, both of these guys close the show. Biggest chain exchanges right here. Good body shot, half plum. Both guys are changing. Half plum using very well by night. Used very well by night. Right to the end. He's trying to secure a knockout. Oh, good straight right hand, another one. And it was like this for all five rounds, man. Great fight, fight of the year in any comeback sport. <laughs> Right there, 10 seconds left. Knight's trying to secure the knockout. What action, great action from BKF C5. As the three Mississippi judges tally their scorecards, again, Lobov down in round one, then Knight down rounds one, two, and three. Both fighters acquitting themselves in their respective BKFC debuts extremely well. And that's a great moment between these two. Certainly the animosity gone.
Well, I think both of these guys knew what they were up against, and that's why the animosity came out. But in the end, it's mutual respect for two warriors. Anthony Rumble Johnson, the head of talent development for BKFC in the squared circle. You also saw BKFC's founder and president, Dave Feldman, in there. This bout is exactly what Feldman had in mind when he brought bare knuckle fighting from the 1800s into this new century. You got your eyes. What a battle. Tremendous five rounds, 10 minutes from Jason Knight and Artem Lobov. Here is Jeff Houston. Ladies and gentlemen, before we go to the decision, let's have a round of applause for these two welterweight warriors. After completing the scheduled five rounds, here are the score totals from our judges at ringside. Brad Patridge and Alvin Toppin see the fight 48-47, and Wayne Spinola scores the bout 48-46 to the winner by unanimous decision, Artem the Russian Hammer Lobo! The booze from this very pro Jason Knight Mississippi crowd, but again, champ, you have to go back to the fact that Lobov knocked Knight down three times in this five round bout. Yeah, and I think that really pushed him over the top, but man, did Knight show well here in front of his hometown crowd. Jason Knight and Artem Lobov, man, what a fight, fight of the year. I'm, I'm curious to know, do Paul and Malinaja really want some of this now? Now that seeing is this fight. first class from Artem Lobov, not accepting the winner's medal, giving it instead to Jason Knight. Absolutely first class from the Russian Artem Lobov. And even in defeat, Jason Knight certainly has reason to celebrate. He fought phenomenally well. But Artem Lobov that much better. The three knockdowns recorded by Lobov certainly making the difference. In our main event of the evening, the winner by way of unanimous decision, Artem Lobov defeats Jason Knight. Ron Kruk, that was something truly special. All right, Artem Lobov, we were expecting a stand-up war. That would be an underestimate. Talk about this incredible fight. Let my face do the talking. Artem, how many times did you think you had ended this fight? I, th I thought he was, I thought he was gone there many times. I dropped him three or four times. Tough, tough kid. Kept coming and coming and coming. That was a great fight. Where, Artem, does this fight rank with some of the bit battles that you've been through, man? The best. There's so much on the line, Artem. That fact that possibly you could be fighting Paul Malinaji next. Your thoughts on that matchup now that you got by night? Let's do it. You know, Malinaji, he's a little fucking pussy that plucks his eyebrows. I want to spark him. Artem Lobov, incredible performance tonight. Enjoy this victory.